What is happening? Welcome to another pitcher video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and today we're going to talk about Christian Javier. A lot of you guys have reached out to me about Christian Javier saying, look, Nick, what is going on with this guy? It's just not been what we wanted to be. And yeah, we're going to break this down. Uh, in short, there are two problems with Christian Javier. One, his fastball is a little bit worse as far as movement goes than it used to be, and it's not as deadly at the top of the zone as it used to be. It also isn't being commanded at the very top as it used to be as well. And the second thing is that the slider is not a consistent offering for him. So we're going to see a lot of these struggles in this fourth inning here against the Rangers um, last week. So we got a fastball down low, which isn't really what he does. Uh, so this is normally we call for a slider. It does. That's an excellent one down and away. Now you got him dead to rights because you throw a fastball upstairs. That is just what the Javier method is. And he can't quite do it. I would do it again. Throw it upstairs. That's your best thing. And he got him. Christian Javier is fine, guys. What? Why, why is everybody asking me what's wrong with Christian Javier? I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, if he can do that, that's. it's nice to see that Christian Javier still has the skill, right? It's in there. That's it. Problem is everything that happens after this. <laughs> We're not going to see that again. So, there's a fastball that's in there that honestly is not that great of a pitch. And if they were looking for that, they jump on it. So, he's trying to... Man, this is good stuff. Up and in. That's good. Now, 0-2. What do you do? You either do a slider off the plate or you do the upstairs fastball. What do you got? Terrible slider. So, it's honestly... This is a scary moment. Why? Because normally, if you don't do the gambit, that is throwing two breaking balls out of the zone um, in a row at a two-strike count, if you don't do that, uh, that means the fastball's coming. And Young is probably going to see after that bounced breaking ball that's going to be an upstairs fastball. So I hope he does the gambit. He does! Good job by Young. This is a fantastic pitch. This is 1-2 off the plate. Like, how does Young get this? That's insane. This is this is a phenomenal one-two pitch, especially doing the gambit. Generally, I would say about nine times out of ten, if you do this while doing that gambit, you get the whiff. And Young did great here, and you can't throw another one now. You gotta throw a fastball. Yeah, no, that's a terrible fastball. I think of all the places that Javier excels with his heater, and that is maybe the last. <laughs> Down and in is not it with a four seamer. Absolutely not. So there's a gift for Young. Can't throw a slider when in the stretch. This is obviously going to be a fastball. Gets the whiff. I mean, you guys can see the the fastball still gets whiffs up there. It's just, can he, can he do this with consistency? That's a great one as well. So now one, two. You, I mean, look, he just fouled it back. And he's super, super aware of it. Either you do a backdoor slider or downstairs slider. Or you just kind of keep going back to the wall. I mean, it's up to you. I would probably go with slider here. And they do, and oh, that's not a bad one. I mean, it could be a little bit better, and props to Heim for fouling it off, but that's really not a bad one. You want to get it more down, I think, than inside. So, like, you look at this, and this is essentially lined with the bottom of the zone. You want this to be down, and it's not as important that it's inside over here. If it was just down here, as opposed to, like, here, right, that would probably be more effective. But this is, that's good. I'd take that all day. Now the problem is, like, do I throw another one that's a little bit better, or do I go back to the fastball? We'll see. Oh, that's a hanger. That's a hanger. You can't throw that one. You know, I mean, I sure I was saying before, like, maybe you do a backdoor one, but no, not this one. I mean, he's on his front foot is the thing. Like, he's way out in front. So this is actually underneath the plate. It probably is a whiff, but but that isn't it. So, all right, we keep moving. Fastball tugged inside. Nope. Slider misses. Nope. What do you do now? This is dangerous. Oh, boy. It's funny. I was like 2-0 count. I was like, oh, wait, I should probably mention how like scary this pitch is. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's it. I mean, yeah. What I tell you the problems were, right? It was can't throw sliders for strikes uh, in fastball locations. And don't throw that pitch, man. That's a, that's a home run. You know that's a home run. I'm not going to. It's a three-run shot. Okay. Oh, boy. There's a slider for a strike. Good stuff. Hey, that's a good pitch. That's not a hit ever. This is ridiculous. How does Tavares hit this for it? Like, that's a backdoor slider. Really a curveball, actually, I think that, that one is. And All right, that, that's just a bad day. There it is. Get that low heater down and away. Cool, and now you go upstairs. You got to go upstairs. Wait, oh, two. There's, I bet there's a, a pitch violation or something like that. 
so you have a high heater fine but actually no no i want this i want this high heater why are we all setting up over here i want that no i mean all right you got the out like he's what i want let's see this one more time i mean that's okay like that's down that's down in middle i mean sometimes you see lefties hook that but with smith he's not really that kind of guy but I, I I do like the high heater in that case. Oh, that's a generally a decent first pitch uh, breaking ball. So that means very dangerous. Oh man, you can't hit that one, so you go higher up. You go higher up with the heater now. Oh, way out in front on that. I mean, now you can throw anything you want because he hasn't seen the high heater and wasn't able to hit the one that was lower. And you keep moving it up higher is what you're supposed to do. But yeah, so Semyon's too smart because he just saw that whiff. He thought that he was going to get another one. Ah, nice. I mean, I think it's too low, personally. Um, but, uh, all right, you, you got the whiff on semi and fine. I'm not going to really judge that more. Uh, I, I think I think that's enough for Christian Javier. Like, you guys get it. His command isn't as good as it used to be. Uh, and he does still get the... He still has it in him. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I think also the slider is a little bit worse. And it used to be such a good hard contact mitigator. That is, it just is so hard to hit. Uh, and guys couldn't really barrel it. I mean, they didn't really hear. But um, I think I had two, two singles on him. So, I, uh, you know, there's something to be said about that, too. Christian Javier has the potential to really actually still be good. Uh, it's just about finding, finding that rhythm in some way and just making some small tweak, I think, about the fastball shape, which is a little bit worse than it used to be. I, uh, but yeah, that was such a bad pitch. And you know, that was such a bad pitch. <laughs> but all right, that is it for this uh, pitcher video break time. Make sure you leave in the comments below what pitchers you want me to cover in the future. But that is it. So my name is Nick Pollock and may your babs be low and your strikeouts high.